so sure. so your main project at the moment or what you're about to release um i might just show people the um so this is red fox labs uh i'll show you so wax is one of the i guess projects that i've spoken about a lot on the channel i'll get you to talk about the relationship there between cogs and and wax mm -hmm. but cogs is basically another one of these uh nfts digital collectibles really fun mm -hmm. games that people are i guess well adopting so quickly i mean look at gods unchained little aussie project that jumped to number one in terms of the volume it was doing of trading of all these different nfts and cards so do you want to talk about the relationship there between uh komodo and then wax mm -hmm. and now even rootstock which is the bitcoin smart contract layer and how that's all mm -hmm. playing out yeah so what's happened is um obviously we started building a game that was fully on chain and it took a lot longer than we thought because a people said why bother uh b people said how are you going to do it um so we did that as a proof of technology and it took a lot longer than we thought we had to uh, make sure it was fast scalable secure all the rest of it so it, you're not going to build a triple a game on on chain at the moment so yeah. arc Lega, the um lead designer for h1z1 and uh, planet side 2 came uh, he, he's a co-founder of red fox uh, games or r fox games of course and and uh he turned around and said well what if we did a digital version of pogs uh and pogs i think in australia it was called tarzos yes uh, yes so he said, why don't we do a digital ver version of that? And uh, it's a simple slammer based game. And what we can do uh, is, is have these pieces and we can use them across a number of different games. So what we ended up doing was we called it COGS and it, with a K and it stands for keys to other games. So what it does is the NFTs allow you to unlock skins, weapons, tournaments across a series of games. So it's not just captive to one it's ecosystem. The, yeah, it's the idea of the metaverse that we've spoken about a lot on the channel mm. recently. Yeah, yeah, and, and technically speaking, we're already mucking around with a couple of other um, companies, which we'll name in the next day or so. But one of them is the number one gaming app uh, around about nesting. Um, so putting things inside of the NFT, meaning you could actually take their NFTs and game items um and you can either burn or redeem through the nft that we have so through our cog you'll be able to unlock uh packs digital items um through these cogs so we're only just getting started but uh even if you look at the the contracts that link and some of these companies are writing you can actually have event based triggers inside of nfts meaning if you say if ronaldo scores a hat trick on the weekend we'll mint a limited edition nft for anyone holding a particular nft i mean we're only we're just in the very very early stages uh and and you know um, people have come to us with the concepts and ideas of we've already got voxels uh, crypto voxels you've got art galleries and stuff yeah. you can actually have an nft that is the art gallery that hosts and shows the nfts and everyone can buy a shard or a part of that nft and take some of the profits of the actual art gallery which is it, it's just absolutely mind-blowing it's it's hard to i know you've covered decentraland and other projects it's it's mind-blowing what they're all doing yeah and and similar concepts for people at home fractional ownership of real estate and now fractional ownership of digital real estate like a digital art gallery that benny just said the streams and the possibilities what you can do from all this is mind-blowing but um yeah so you started